I go in blind. Can I, just, can I go in blind and just yeah. talk a bunch of bullshit about it? That's the, the way this <laughs> is meant to go. I like it. Alright. I am red. Oh my god, so many people like liking my tweets and retweeting them and doing all the bullshits. Guys, can you uh, hear... Can you guys hear this? Yeah. All right, and you guys can see what's on what I'm streaming. Okay, so I'm gonna open with the video, and then we'll go into the opening. All right, whatever. Live switching in flight. Logitech well, camera control. That might actually be the thing I'm looking for. Or it's it's not. It's not at all. That's that's cool. G G, -G computer. Okay. Three. <laughs> two, and one, and actually, I'll just start it whenever I cut over this. Sweet. Oh, Honey, I'm getting him a griddle. Why the fuck does that make? Oh my god! Like, that shit still doesn't make. So you only eat McGriddles? I only eat McGriddles when it comes to breakfast. Like, I, it's McDonald's. Why would I get anything else but a McGriddle? Like, that's their signature. Like, it's a what the fucking fuck? pancake with infused syrup as a fucking bun. Just by that by itself, it's just like, damn, McDonald's, what the fuck was you do? That's genius! <laughs> and it's big muffin bullshit. What the fuck am I watching? Fuck, what's the He's muffin passionate that? about oh. his breakfast food. Not in the morning, not at Bro, night, not in the afternoon, the not in the down. evening. No one wants you're, to eat that. It's good. Why were they giving that to the public? No, it should just be McGriddles. Like when they when at Rochdale, they had the three for five McGriddles. I was there every morning. I was there online. Let me get the three for five, please. Thank you. That's it. I didn't even get a hash brown or orange juice. I ate that shit with no bath. That's enough. I'm going. <laughs> no bath. No bath. No it's a McGriddle. They got syrup. I can syrup on the syrup. Oh. Good job, baby hearts. You just watched a man who is passionate about his breakfast meats, okay? <laughs> or at least putting syrup Passion. in the bun. I be similar with smoothies, I'll not gonna lie. I have up. never had a McGriddle. No, right well, well, okay. Thing. Here's the thing, right? Now, I, I picked that open video for us this week. Uh, but I will say, everybody has a food that they're passionate about. Everybody has one food item that if someone fucked it up, you would, you would stand on a soapbox and you would be there. And you would be Coffee. like, how you fucked that up? <laughs> Literally coffee. Oh, I see people there. get mad about coffee. I would cut a motherfucker if they fuck up my coffee. No latte. How the fuck you fuck that? Up? That's just like how the man says the word I, syrup. It's fucking, it's fucking, fucking espresso and milk. Like how do you fuck that shit up? Okay, I'm done. So, I, so I actually, the first person I've really ever seen get fucking mad as shit about food is uh, uh, Sam yelling at. Uh, he's been telling. <laughs> he's told this story at least three different times. About how someone put fucking milk in his goddamn coffee, and <laughs> he he's a vegan, so he doesn't drink milk and everything. Uh, but man, he get I just never seen him get so mad. <laughs> like it's like that fucking bitch, that fuck some fucking Starbucks wench fucked up my coffee. <laughs> All right, man, Kaz, what are we doing here? What's going on today? Um, hello, hello, how are you? And welcome. Uh, this is DKG Welp, the Drunk Kids Gaming Podcast. I am your host, King Kaz. I'm joined by Curly. We have two lovely guests. Count them. Two, because that's how many we always have on the show this week. Uh, joining us is a good friend of the show, a good friend to the dinos, Steve the Sound Guy. Steve the Sound Guy, playing dinos as we speak, so I'm going to be yelling about <laughs> T-Rexes and Brontosauruses is, and birds. I'm, and wait, I'm waiting for Steve, because I know how this game works. Most of the time, you can play <laughs> dinosaurs pretty fucking uh, haphazardly, you know, watching a movie or whatever, but then something goes wrong, and I'm, you're going you're gonna to notice Steve standing up all of a sudden, just fucking... Fucking straight up gamer face, just going. Hold on, I can't talk right now. My fucking bird's getting attacked by a T Rex. Help! I just logged back on after after blue screening, and my bird was completely gone. No worries, I found it. I know the tricks. It's all good. We're Great. okay. You can continue also, the podcast. Well, who's the next guest, Kaz? Who's the next guest? Let me let me do my job. Um, I would also to the show, uh, the lovely and uh, just coming off of uh, an extreme live stream is what we like to call it tactical pinup hello how are you and welcome Hi. to the show coming off of a not not a not a not a marathon live stream a motherfucking like like 
I don't know, week long? What is that, 180 hours you went or something? Yeah, I went 181 hours. It was over seven days straight, and I wanted to die. How do you poop? I, I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> there, I liked my camera. You can actually see. Oh, you look nice. Yay, I'm not wearing makeup because I pretty much said fuck that noise. Hey, you got fresh hair, so whatever, right? This isn't this isn't one of those gussy fucking primetime shows. This is DKG Welp. I uh I, I I'm not gonna lie, I didn't shower today. I, I, I showered. I showered <laughs> and and I haven't shaved my legs since uh, since it's Halloween. And so, I shaved I shaved my legs today. Oh damn, I was gonna say I thought you were doing like a Movember for your legs. No, are you kidding me? I had to get a pedicure and I'm not gonna let those people touch my legs when they're all hairy and shit. Like <laughs> Nah, dude. I've lost my entire weekend to Fallout 4. I've done nothing. I I, str I think I streamed it last night until 4 in the morning. And mm -hmm. I went to bed. And then I woke up mm -hmm. and I was like... I looked at the bathroom and I was like, I could shower. Or I could go back into the wasteland. Because I, I ain't got no appointments today. I ain't got no one to see. I, was I, I ain't got nobody to see. <laughs> no one's hey, no one's... Hey, hey, look at it. See, Bacon Donut did show up. Yeah, that, Bacon Donut. That fucker. One of my favorite dudes. I had uh, such a good time talking with him at uh, TwitchCon. Oh my god, did I tell you that we beat the Ender Dragon because I'm a total fucking Minecraft noob? Like, I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. And he's like, let's play Minecraft during your charity stream. I'm like, okay. And then, like, we play Minecraft, and then, like, there's one point where he's like, why don't you just stand over here? And I'm like, what are you doing? Tell me to just look pretty and sit in the corner because I'm a girl? Like, it was great. I just gave him a bunch of shit. So it's like a, it's like 20 minutes of Minecraft. You just go yeah. and kill the Ender Dragon. No, it literally took us three days because I have ADD and I yep but once hey I'm a natural with the bow and arrow like when we got to the actual part where we had to like kick ass like I actually did it and I killed the ender dragon like <laughs> just saying Sorry, three, three straight days of, of I'm so of, good at Legos guys <laughs> how many times just straight walk in the lava because that's usually the first I didn't, thing to I, didn't do. Walk in, I didn't walk into lava that time Almost. Um, and you want to say straight Legos? Be jealous, motherfuckers. Ooh. I've never done one of those big old kits. They're I crazy. usually gun my, my adult Legos at this point. Steve has a Lego house made out of Simpsons stuff. Uh, you mean I have a Simpsons house made out of Lego stuff. Fucking, <laughs> fucking bacon. Right. This girl is all over the place. It took like four days. Takes me like an hour and a half normally. Yep. So true. Right? Yeah. I streamed my Lego Simpsons house build. That was like eight hours. Yeah, and uh, in eight hours of uh, of copyrighted Simpsons in the background. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I was, was tuning in. I was tuning into your stream for that just to listen to fucking old school <laughs> Simpsons episodes. Oh times. my god! So yeah. Curly, you have to go back and look at my highlights because Bacon Donut did he wrapped Vanilla Ice like no shit. It was the greatest fucking thing Wait, ever. Ginger wrap or did he do like? Like, he legit, like, went off. It was amazing. Good luck, like, doing it. She's just the way she is in Minecraft in real life. So, enjoy. I am. I have, a, I have ADD. <laughs> so, Kaz, stories, my friend. You brought some interesting new do, stories? Let's do, let's do uh, new stories. I usually think there's a I've got this McGriddle of... kid still on my screen. I need to close it. It's a motherfucking McGriddle. What did you understand? It's just so staring magic. at me like, shit. There is syrup in the bun. Syrup. It's in there. Syrup. Syrup. It's like it's it's like the sauce. It's syrup. Oh man, are you gonna give me an intro? Uh oh shit! <laughs> Let's fill that knowledge hole. It's Taz's news bag. <laughs> Every week you forget that we have. I forget that to thing. I uh, yeah. So, all right. Yeah. All right, so uh, our first news story, uh, however you want to take this one. So, uh, a Christian anti-masturbation mascot named Fappy. Uh, that's not the story. Hold on. His name is Fappy. <laughs> I totally Wait. know about this one, though. Uh, was arrested for public masturbation. Oh, no. I'm not done. While swimming with dolphins at SeaWorld in San Diego. Boom! Now I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? So, yeah, so this 37-year-old uh, man. I don't um, know anything about this, and I live here. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to drop last names. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to shame this man. 
uh, as this article has done, was arrested at SeaWorld after being caught masturbating in the dolphin pool. I'm confused. Have Christians still, are they still spearheading this? Uh, this? Uh, allegedly, they're still on the don't touch yourself, uh, which I, I, I got to figure out. that. Oh, honey, no. Huh. No. No. That is no. concentrated dump just coming is- out of you and you need to stop. Oh, man. They're- oh, no. Like, they- literally, it's like, I remember growing up in the church and it was like, the only things we ever talked about in our youth group was like, how, okay, and I'm not kidding you, so nobody get offended by this shit, but it was literally how Jesus was a black man and how sex was bad. Like, no shit. That is like every fucking sermon. Was Jesus mm. a black man? What? Allegedly. I don't know. I mean, he was, he was definitely from the Middle East, so he was not white. I'm just going to throw that out there. It's not what all my cartoons told me. Well, well he may not have been anything. There are a number of studies showing up that are pointing out more and more evidence that Jesus may have been a uh, pure fabrication. What? Impossible! Stories! Oh, oh boy! Hearsay! Religion? Telling lies? <laughs> Hearsay! No way! <laughs> There's no way anything was made up <laughs> back then. Shit, I, I'm, I'm, I'm only 30 years old. I make up shit all the time about my past. <laughs> I'm just saying, though, because apparently sex is bad, okay? And um, I think they're wrong. Oh, yeah, no, I mean, that's oh, like literally this whole absence only bullshit is the reason why we have TV shows like 16 and Pregnant. Like, I'm sorry. It's not working. Teach a kid <laughs> what a fucking condom is. Jesus. I remember... Uh, because there was a, there was a period of time where I, this one lady was uh, straight up just like collecting kids around the street and taking them to church, and uh, our neighborhood was a little mm-hmm. poor, little poor neighborhood, and uh, they she she took she took a liking to me because I was a smart kid, and uh, so she she was like, like yeah, it. I'll buy you clothes and shit, and you just got to come to church on Sunday, and uh, it was really weird. Yeah, I know. In retrospect, thinking back, isn't that a group for gangs too? Uh, <laughs> Uh, but so anyways, I went to a church a couple times and I'm like, yeah, fuck it, man. I'll be open to this. I'll give it a chance. This lady's nice. And, uh, I remember, I remember to this day, one of the sermons was listening to this, like this old white preacher, man, talking about how, uh, how, how much of a sin it is to, to, to use your mouth for love making. Wait, what? <laughs> and what? I was, and I'm like, man, these ladies got to be fucking pissed in this place. <laughs> like, dude, I'm going to hell. Damn it. <laughs> I was like, I was like, shit, I'm 16 and I've, I've sinned a ton. Like this is a problem. <laughs> <laughs> like, Hold on! I thought everything was cool up until That's now. That's my favorite thing to do. I get accolades all the time for it. Now Jesus says I can't do it. <laughs> what? What's this bullshit? I'm gonna go worship Buddha. Show me a rule book. Does Where Buddha go down on the ladies? I think Buddha goes down on the ladies. I think Buddha goes down on the ladies. I mean, the, uh, they, it, they do say rub the Buddha belly. Um, okay. That ain't his belly. That's what we're talking about. It's like. Uh, so, anyways, uh, this man dressed as a dolphin swam with the dolphins and jerked <laughs> off on the dolphins. <laughs> I don't. Was I don't he dressed know as a dolphin. He, so, he, he so, a, he, so that's what I've got here. <laughs> I can go ahead and show this of uh, the article, and uh, this man is definitely dressed. I think that's him. I don't know why they would have put this photo here if it wasn't him. I don't think he was swimming with the dolphins dressed like that, was he? he no, had, no, he, he had, had to sneak in. The both article still had the head on. He still had the oh, mask on. What? Well, well Sovintag with dolphin. nothing on except the dolphin mascot head. Uh. <laughs> I mean, dolphins have been committing this. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Is that, is that like, does he think he's a dolphin? Or is this like some I'm weird. Not, well, I'm not going to speak on this man's fetishes or non fetishes. I mean, like, you do you, boo boo, but I don't think dolphins can consent. And so that's a whole level of nope happening up in that bitch. Well, dolphins you, have been assaulting humans sexually for years yeah. and years, and they've just so, gotten off with a slap on the it, wrist. It's payback, man. <laughs> He's just trying to even the odds. No, you can't no, give I'm, a slap. I'm, I'm still going to maintain the whole, this is a whole lot of nope. Like, nope. Just, well, okay, okay, okay. So do we all agree that it's wrong to masturbate publicly in a dolphin tank at SeaWorld? Yes? Which part of that is wrong? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but what, if, what if I posit the scenario where he has his own personal dolphin tank because he's flipping rich. Is it okay for him to do it in the privacy of his own home with his own dolphins that he bought with his black market money? As long as he's not harming the dolphins, I'm cool with that. <laughs> I, you know. I'm of the mindset of consent, and since dolphins cannot consent... What if he put up a big board that said yes or no, and then the dolphin would do that little nose thing <laughs> on the yes or no <laughs> ring? Yeah, I'm still gonna 
gonna go with no. <laughs> like I'm still gonna go with the whole bestiality is not in K. I've seen dolphins that are like are smarter with those little blocks going through holes than fucking kids are. That's fine. <laughs> I'm still gonna say no. <laughs> Uh, That's a whole lot of Gene Wilder up in this bitch that I don't want to think about. I love the articles like, we first thought he, he's got to be intoxicated or mentally unstable, but no, he's been arrested three other times for public masturbation. And so, I mean, that is kind of a sign that he does have a bit of mental problems. Right. Wouldn't you say? Um, didn't that, didn't that, isn't that what happened with Pee Wee Herman? Like... No, hold on. I will defend fucking Paul Rubens to the day I die. <laughs> that man was in a fucking porn theater. What did you want him to do? Excuse <laughs> He's going to miss the best scene. Uh, the lights are, I mean, yeah. So, I don't know. I'm I don't just, know about that. I'm just yeah. saying. I'm, oh, know. is this guy funded by tax dollars? God damn it, California. <laughs> God damn it. Tax, I mean, Tax well, money. That, tax I'm, more, I'm more offended. I mean, he could jerk off on all the dolphins and kids Christians he wants or whatever. I don't give a shit. But the fucking the, the fact that he was paid by my money, I'm a little pissed now. <laughs> well, okay, you think not support? That's a whole lot of just that just makes me feel gross. Is the is the article like what was what was his job? What was his actual job? His job is to be the mascot of non fapping. Which is the Christian anti-masturbation program. So, yes. So he's mm -hmm. part of the anti-masturbation program. And Stop he, Masturbation Now is an organization. He's a friendly mascot that welcomes children into the no-no, don't touch yourself, you devil child. So this is a church thing, correct? So he's, mm -hmm. not, he's not getting paid by – he's getting paid by churches, which is essentially you know, people donating their money. Yes? Uh, I just read the article where it was saying that thanks to your tax dollars – so, oh, yeah, yeah. so I don't know where it, I don't know what the fund was coming was from. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It was a public. That's my question. Because if this guy was is getting it, paid it, by anything, is it, a, is it a religious institution or is it a pack? Because that's that's where if it's a pack, that's is is it political or is it is it a politi political initiative? Because then that would be tax dollars, or is it a a, a church like? So I, I think they, he, they do it at churches, but they also do it at schools. So the FAPI, the Anti-Masturbation Dolphin, and the group Stop Masturbation Now are federally funded programs designed to teach children about the dangers of and consequences of masturbation. What? Can we just I... talk about how wrong that America. is? Yeah, that's, that's, that in and of itself <laughs> is what ticks me off. For more, for more information, or if you would like the group to visit your child's school, call this number here. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, <laughs> so you can meet FAPI himself. Hey, I'm you know? really hoping. I'm really hoping. I got a fish uh, tank. So. I was hoping I was gonna look up and see that this this wasn't on CBSnews.com. <laughs> I was hoping it's gonna be a satire website or something. Nope. Right. Nope. I double checked. I like double and triple checked because I was like, this is, no, this isn't real. No, this is too perfect. It, <laughs> it, so there you go. I don't know um, how but, I feel about this. Stop! Stop paying I, your taxes, guys. Let's just all go and, and call right. it now. Call it live. <laughs> oh my god. Call the number live. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have I don't have those hookups yet. One yeah, day, yeah. one day. I'm like well, literally well, tempted to put my shit on speakerphone and call it right now. Like, not gonna lie. Well, let, me, let me do this next story. Uh, so, <laughs> in case, like, so in case Fappy uh, doesn't make it out of this court trial, uh, I think I have a new way for these people to help stop masturbation because allegedly Pornhub is mad at Fallout for decreasing their traffic by ten percent. <laughs> 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 so, upon the day of release of Fallout 4, uh, Pornhub noted that their traffic dropped by 10% from the times of 5 a.m. to uh, 3 p.m. Uh, and they ain't happy about that. They lost a lot of fapping hours to that goddamn video game. <laughs> so, nerds masturbate a lot to Pornhub uh, the, is what... The correlation really is that masturbation typically comes from boredom when you're on the internet. <laughs> So if you've got yourself a Fallout game, you're just like, yeah, I'll do that later. That's pretty much it. Yeah, so yeah pretty much. That's that's the the correlation to that. People like, ignore their then, wives and, and, and girlfriends for video games all the time, right? So Yeah. It, and their it's husbands the, and Well It's I, the old call in for a sick day, you know. My ex fully wanna... disappeared for a long time when Angry Birds first came out. He was into that shit. Oh, I'll tell I'll I'll tell whoever I'm dating like nah dude I gotta play video games right now like I got shit to do. Yep. Okay. So 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 tactical pinup. What's the one game in the last five years 
that you would automatically give up a date with the like the hottest per like this person mm-hmm. is like you, you're like man if i could get that person i'm I, I drop everything but what one video game would make you just be like oh <laughs> nod <laughs> <You see? laughs> uh probably probably it was either i mean fallout 4 has been pretty epic i'm not gonna lie that game is fucking fantastic um, I just figured I've you lost... played it for all like 180 hours. I figured that was all you were gonna do. No, no, I ended up um, because I can talk a lot of shit while playing Call of Duty. I ended up doing that, um, but probably actually, honestly, and everyone's gonna give me a lot of hate for this. Actually, no, it would have to be it would have to be Fallout 4, Titanfall, because I love that game and everyone talks so much shit about it. It's an amazing game. So fuck I, you fans I, uh, sorry to to spirit that, but I fucking. I've just gotten uh, uh, Sam, uh, one of my close friends, fucking, he just started playing it and was like, you gotta play this Titanfall game, it's the most amazing game, it's so much fun. And I was like, man, I heard so much crap about that game, like... Everyone mm-hmm. talks so much shit about it, it's so amazing! Like, if you like to do PvP and, like, shoot a motherfucker in the face and parkour and jump up, like, seriously, like, I played the new Black Ops 3 and, like, they completely jacked, like, half the shit from Titanfall. Like, half of the shit in that fucking game is jacked from Titanfall. So, I would have to say that, or The Witcher 3, or so Dragon Age. Any, any game in this way. <laughs> well, Dragon Age Inquisition, but The Witcher 3, like, I literally, like, made it my mission, that entire game, to fuck Yennefer. And I still have a screenshot from my stream where Yennefer and The Witcher are doing it on this life-size unicorn, like, stuffed unicorn. And, like, I'm just sitting there on my stream like this, and Twitch put that as my fucking thumbnail nice. for the time. So I still have a screenshot of it. So probably that. I'd be like, no, honey, I got to go fuck Yennefer in the video game. Sorry. Um, no Nikki fun time until I'm done. Uh-huh. <laughs> have I, you I seen think... her? She's fucking hot. Like, Never played it. God damn. The opening scene is her in black lingerie. And, like, my <laughs> mouth hit the floor. I was like, da 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 damn Okay. I like to I romance like... robots in video games, but that's just me. <laughs> yeah, no, that's curly. That's curly all day, every day. I, I go for the, I'm going to romance any and everyone who I, isn't nailed to a fucking... And was it uh, New Vegas or Fallout 3 that I fucked that robot hard? Yeah. Well, New Vegas, you, after a while, you'll, when, once you realize you could bang things, you were just like, what the fuck am I wasting my time shooting things for? <laughs> can I... Can I so, wait, <laughs> here. so wait, nerds would rather fuck in video games. Then, like, actually fuck people is what I'm starting to gather. There is so much. Well, so we, I think the original question was posed as uh, what kind of date would you drop out for if there was a video game to be played? And uh, as, a, as, a, as a freshly minted 30 year old, I'm like, oh, God, dating's so hard. I'm just, <laughs> just going to go play a game. It's guaranteed fun. I don't have to get dressed. I'm going to deal with that Pants, shit. Pants are off. Well, usually if you're going to a, a nice establishment, they usually ask you to wear pants. Mm, yeah. It's just, a, <laughs> it's just a time management thing, man. Yeah. I just I'm make so time gay. for yourself. You make time for your lady or your man I lo- wait, wait, or anything I just, in between. I just have to make a correction to somebody in the chat. They said that I'm so gay and they appreciate that. But the thing is, is that no, bro. I just like to fuck people. Like, it doesn't matter who they are. Sure. Man, woman, transgender, I don't discriminate. I just like sex. Welcome to DKG. So the majority yeah. of people are here are fluid as fuck. <laughs> I just like sex, bro. Like, I can't, like, sit there and be like, oh, no, I just like women. Like, no, I can appreciate the aesthetics of many different people. Like, I don't give a fuck who they are. They can be a chick with a penis, and I'd be like, "That's hot." Like, let's go. Well, I mean, that goes that goes hand in hand with my shit. Like, I, I I'm straight up. Uh, if I'm bored enough, I'll bat anything around. I don't give a shit. God, I say that with every single. You never like it's never. You never use different words or anything. It's just always. If I'm bored, I'm bat anything around. <laughs> Pretty accurate. It's the best way to explain it. Oh my god. Am I, uh, am I the only? Am I the only heterosexual? Get on your the cis right crap out of here, Steve! <laughs> oh, what right. the fuck? <laughs> Stop hey, your hate. Hey. I, I appreciate your hetero, your, your heterosexuality. 
I, I, well, I congratulate you. I, have, I just have a problem of wanting to have sex with everyone. So, except for animals and people unwilling to consent. <laughs> Adults that are human, I should preface that. Adults that are human, I will have sex with. What about aliens? They can consent. What about, what about all those Tumblr kids that think they're, like, not humans? No. <laughs> yeah. I identify as a rock. And, 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 and aliens? <laughs> aliens? I don't, maybe. <laughs> maybe. I don't, maybe. All right. I, I've I, never I, met an alien, so I can't for sure say, like, yeah, I'm totally fucking alien. But, I mean. I identify as an energy blob, and I'm trapped in the body of flesh. <laughs> I, Curly, I'd fuck you. <laughs> I know. I'd fuck you. <laughs> I mean, we'd have to be bored and drunk, but I'd probably fuck you. We'd be drunk no matter what. But, All right, you know. Fair enough. I'll, just, no I'll, write on a, I'll write on a piece of paper uh, my consent for you, so. You Perfect. Don't, you don't have to so get it out consent, of me when I'm... Consent first before you're You're like, you're strong. slurring too much. I can't hear you. I say, yes. <laughs> yes, like... don't fuck me. <laughs> oh, okay. My safe word is... <laughs> <laughs> I get yeah. so mad. Snore oh. once for yes, snore twice for no. <laughs> okay, no shit, though. Like, seriously, people don't believe this, but girls can get blue balls, and that shit's annoying. Yeah? It's not okay. Yeah. Because then now you're like, what? What? No <laughs> I just need <laughs> the more you know. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Girls can get blue balls. I just the most realized, annoying. Realized the audience most Speaking of the more you know, I remember I once had to actually take the time to sit down my ex and explain to her that the balls don't actually get blue. That's not a thing that actually <laughs> happens. Like the the term in the in the idea of like, yeah, man, you were you're thinking you were gonna get it and then you're not gonna get it can be frustrating. That's what that's mean. It doesn't actually mean your physical nuts turn a blue color like they're being asphyxiated. Unless you have an extreme case of testicular torsion. That's, yeah, I guess. Then you I, need I, to go see a doctor. I forget when, but like the first time I heard that, I was like, did I, do they turn blue? I've never, my <laughs> mine's never been blue. Is it because I'm black that they don't turn blue? <laughs> like, I had, a, I had a moment with myself. Like, I had to sit in a corner and, like, I don't, I don't know. Like, it's not a color that I've ever seen on a first. I don't. Whatever. <laughs> uh, oh, Jesus. So, mm. this next story, I put in here. <laughs> oh yeah, stories. So oh, I'm wait, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read this one out. Um, See, I told you we we're gonna get off topic. Is the, yeah, pin up, come on our show, and I'm like, this is the end. point of the show. I, I, I try to, I try to warn people about that all the time. I not warn people. I try to tell them that, and they don't realize that they're on the show. They're like, oh, oh, I gotta, I gotta, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't read the right stories. I got, I need like an hour to read all the stories. No, dude, you just talk. It's fine. It's yeah, great. I don't read stories. I just read the headlines <clears throat> and, and a paragraph to explain the headline. Cops report couple calls nine one one to report possums jumping out of their fridge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I fucking love this story. I actually read <laughs> this one. So a sp- allegedly, this couple call the cops. Because not only did they see a possum jump out of their fridge, which you could think, eh, maybe in the south somewhere they saw a possum, but they saw... Let uh, me read my story, Kaz. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> when the deputies arrived, all ready to take care of these possums uh, that were jumping out of their refrigerator and microwave, uh, the couple informed them that not only there was possums jumping out, but also people were jumping out of their fridge and microwave, and they had, they had taken pictures of worms coming out of their floor of their vehicle and pictures of other people camouflaged around their house. The deputy says he looked at several of the pictures, which he says just showed a basketball goal and a tree. <laughs> what the fuck were these guys on? Like, Deputies they- believe the two run under the influence of bath salts. End of story. Okay. Bath salts. Okay, so first of all, what bath salts are the colloquial term for what drug? Ba- it's, uh, I don't know if there's a normal name for it. I think it's called bath salts. It's like fucking just crazy chems. It's, it's acid. It's, it's acid. It's that shit that like makes you fucking superhuman and also fucking you you know you want to tear your skin off or you Frank? can yeah the, the the stuff that makes you superhuman where like you can like get shot and still just be like whatever adrenaline <laughs> is terrifying because like any, you, any drug usually does that to people <laughs> not yeah, I'll take like unless it's unless it's weed and then it's just like I'm not afraid of some red eyed cotton nose cotton mouth stoners coming to jack me for my visine and cookie dough like. Stoners don't fucking scare me. You just pretend to hit someone high out of their mind, and they're like, why'd you try to hurt me, man? Why you try right? to hurt me? It's all good. Well, I've, never, I've never been on any hallucinogenic drugs, or any drug for that matter, besides over-the-counter nonsense. Um, uh, I, but I, I've been around people who've been uh, hallucinating, and it's an experience just being around. So 
People yeah. are weird, dude. My People friend in weird. high school tried to eat her fucking hair because she thought it was cotton candy after she did Selvia. And yep. it was fucking funny as shit. So like, she was just... I've never, I've never done crazy drugs or anything. I've only um, drank and I, I think I've smoked a pot like three times in my life but i've i've done salvia with a friend uh or with a with a group of like 20 people and uh i i, I never want to touch a hallucinogenic drug in my life ever again i'm like this i i i had a good time don't get me wrong but that being said like i'm like nope i don't want that fucking mind altering shit near me like uh it's terrifying no. i i thought the world had turned into um uh you know when you beat solitaire in the old windows <laughs> and like all the cards like do that little like right or, or when a window freezes and you can drag it around and it just keeps duplicating itself on Windows. I okay. thought the world, the world was doing that to me and I was like, nope. <laughs> so I was 16 and we dropped acid in my friend's apartment while we were playing Vampire the Masquerade because we thought that was a good idea. And it, it wasn't, I will tell you this. Um, and then we decided, he was in downtown St. Paul. So there's like all these skyscrapers and shit around us and around his apartment. And, like, we decide it's a good idea to go outside, which it's not. It's never, ever a good idea when you're tripping on shit to go outside. And mm -hmm. literally, all of a sudden, the world melted into, like, this big green meadow. And, like, with, like, literally, it was just straight out of, like, fucking um, Wizard of Oz, like, the poppy field. Poppy. And then, then, then up over the hill come these giant rainbow gnomes, and they start chasing after me. And I kept smacking into thin air. But really, I was running into fucking buildings. I will never, ever, 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 ever do a hallucinogenic ever again. I just, nope. I'm like super straight laced. Like, right? Like, now I don't do drugs. I don't. I can totally understand smoke weed. seeing possums and people jumping out of the refrigerator. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, fuck no. <clears throat> just yeah. sitting there. Baby, see that? You see that man come out the fridge? I got, I got a picture. Of it. <laughs> I got a picture. That shit will <laughs> fuck with you. Just say no, DKG kids. From your friends here at DKG, drugs are bad, okay? Uh, they really we're, we're, are. Our, our lessons You're right now, our lessons are spanning from like, don't do drugs, masturbate as much as you fucking can, uh, <laughs> and, and probably your better bet just playing video games instead of trying to date people. Works out yeah. great. <laughs> there you go. Lessons learned from DKG. <laughs> don't touch drugs, touch yourself, and then uh, other people, eh, maybe if, well, I don't know, play that game. <laughs> Man, if they also play video games and don't identify as a rock stupid tumblr no. kids yeah like <laughs> consent consent is a good thing consent is is awesome and consent is sexy mm. all right lazy green hey speaking of yes uh, yes you know what <laughs> fuck you i love that bitch and i yes i do too yes. uh, fucking, I i've been watching that, that shit for years take I will take that as a fucking compliment because, like, when she legit up, straight up says, like, consent is sexy, it totally is, like, somebody asks you, like, how does this feel? Are you enjoying yourself? Like, that's fucking attractive rather than some dude just, like, fucking around down there or some chick not knowing what the fuck they're doing and they can't figure it out and you're just laying there like, are you fucking serious? Like, bro, a little to the left. Like, it's not that hard. Totally agree. Consent is fucking attractive. I'm just saying. God damn it. Some dude fucking around down there. <laughs> yeah. Like he's, like, like, he's, like he's lost in the high school play curtain. Right? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the worst fucking thing ever. It's like, are, are you... Kaz are is working done? through that one in his mind right now. Are you done? <laughs> Why aren't you listening to me? <laughs> well, I said a little to the left, god damn it. Fuck it, just let me get my vibrator. Is that stage left or house left? Try to find the exit. <laughs> no, that is an exit only. I would... Mm. I, I've, I've always said that if somebody ever tried to put it in my butt, that I would go out and get a tattoo that says, do not enter exit only at that very moment. Just don't knock it until you on. try it. Uh, no. Oh, no. For our story, me and, me and fucking Tactical Pinup are in the same fucking boat. Like, that is, it's only an exit for me. Kaz, give me, yeah, give I, me a half hour with you and you'll change why the word. <laughs> why would you want to stick your dick in something that creates shit? Like, I don't understand. Uh, we well, do weird right. shit. We're humans. It fucking feels good. Who gives a shit? It does not feel good. It does not. Like, I don't need you wait, poking wait, 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 my wait. rectum. Like, no. I can bring out charts and graphs that would explain. Oh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> no. Empirical I, evidence. I take that back. I, really, I will never fuck you. I'm also a hypocrite because I don't want it in mine, but I've definitely put it in other people's. 
，所以呃，你知道，就是。Catch twenty two. Somebody's having a weird week. Apparently, why does every discussion in my life end up about butt stuff? <laughs> I do not do butt stuff at all, ever. No. Just There you go. You're, you're missing out on a lot of fun. No, I'm good. That's why I do Kegels. <laughs> yeah, you do behind Kegels. <laughs> no, no. I, I just get away from my butt. Keep it right. Keep it tight. <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> I also so again no transition for this other story. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I did not. Uh, I can't open the fucking news story. God damn it! I didn't show off the face of these fucking basalt oh, kids. Lovely fucking um, this lovely couple here. Oh wait, that's a different couple. No, that's a different person. They all look the fucking same. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. But, this yeah, they were high. Here. They were high. Uh, Adam. <laughs> these people Every- might might also be them a little later. Um, <laughs> Jesus. Whatever. Drugs are bad, okay. Yeah, f- yeah. If you ever, if you ever contemplating doing any kind of drug, like any, especially ones that are considered long term and stuff, like addictive things, like crack or whatever, like find find someone around your city. I'm sure there's someone that's done that shit for like 20 years. <laughs> Just follow them around for an hour, and you'll realize you'll never want to do that shit in your yeah. life. So, <laughs> I, I really, can yeah. I tell you? Oh man, nah. I'll tell you. I'll tell you in person sometime. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We'll say living living in the state in this state in the city that I live in, which I live in Baltimore. So if, if you haven't seen it, go watch The Wire and you'll understand this. My favorite thing is getting on a bus for about a twenty minute ride that ends up going through like downtown and having like a heroin addict get on the bus because for <laughs> some reason they always have a drink, and it is the like most bro thing ever because they will not drop it. They'll just they'll fucking lean on people. <laughs> They'll fucking like you'll have drunks get on the bus and the train spill their fucking beer all over the place and be like, oh fuck! But like a heroin addict is just like you're like, oh they're gonna hit the floor, oh 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 they hit the floor and they're but cups in the air <laughs> and it's it's br- it's brimming it's to the top. Shit. For me, it was going is working at the casino on overnights because you'd have all the fucking tweakers playing Keno and those motherfuckers are funny as shit to watch play Keno because they're like. Like the entire fucking night for four hours straight, they'll sit there and hit the Kino machine and be shaking, and they're like, "I need coffee, I need coffee, I need coffee." Like, <laughs> I was like, "I'm," so-, and the way that they're like, they're always moving, like scratching themselves and shit. I'm like, "Nope, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with, with, with not doing that." Yeah, watching a, watching a thirty year old pull their entire teeth out, and you're like, "Well, I am spastic enough." <laughs> I'm spastic enough. I do. I do not need drugs to help with that. We're, we're solid. Word. I think I this think has this been a positive good. as fuck episode. Yeah, and I think this is a good like like bring us down from the news stories. Um, in the UK, uh, a lovely couple called nine nine nine, which is nine one one in the UK. If you didn't know, nine nine nine, because true. they were because they were lonely and. Uh, The officers showed up and had a cup of tea with them, and I thought that was like just a good, lovely, like, like people story of like. <laughs> What? Uh, This is adorable. Whereas, whereas in the United States, if you did that, they would probably fine you. Yeah, you, you ever <laughs> try to ask a cop for help in America? Fuck. <laughs> 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 Are you stupid? <laughs> I mean, I, I've heard story. I've heard. I've heard stories because I don't know if it was just everybody, but I grew up. I grew up with a. Uh, Um, I mean, my parents weren't like terribly bad or anything, but like set up for that. Cops, <laughs> cops were always considered evil, right? Like there, there was bad. Like it was like, hey, you look out for the cops. Like look out for the cops. Like if you see a cop yeah. car, tell me. Um, I don't even think my dad ever paid registration <laughs> on his cars when he was younger. <laughs> oh, I got. After you're done, I got something. For um, that. but so like so when I grew up, like I, I'm not a law breaking citizen. Like I, I'm pretty straight laced as fuck, you know. Um, yeah. but I still see a cop car and I'm like, oh shit, everyone's okay. Everyone, we got, we cool. Everyone's cool. Be cool. <laughs> like, I don't know what it is. I don't know what that, I mean, I blame my parents. My parents instilled that in me. <laughs> but, uh, my, my brother. Okay. So this is before I was born. My mom was speeding and she had my brother in the back seat. Right. That she wasn't like speeding, speeding. Like it was like maybe five over. Right. Because my mom is just like, my mom is just my mom. Anyway, like in a hurry, cop- recall danger. Right. Yes. Yeah, she was in a hurry and and she needed to get home. And Trying so, to catch like, that 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 Dancing with the Stars that was on. <laughs> well, that probably wasn't around back then, but whatever. Anyway, Hollywood so Square. My, my brother was in the back seat, and 
the cop pulls my mom over and is like super fucking rude to my mom, like super fucking rude, like just being a dick. And literally from the back seat, my brother, without being prompted, goes, "Mommy, I thought police officers were supposed to be our friends." Oh. Fucking cop just stops, like what? <laughs> and like, like totally starts being nice to my mom and like. To let her off, she didn't get a ticket or anything. But like, yeah, I'm like fucking. I'm taking a note from that. I, my children will learn that line. My children will learn. Mommy, now I gotta no, drive with a child everywhere. <laughs> no, the, ki the kids getting twenty to life, and you're going upstate. Oh like. <laughs> uh, damn! But literally, like, mommy, I thought police officers were supposed to be our friends. <laughs> like, oh my god, that cop must have had the words. He's like, like, fuck. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of, a, I don't know, it's a shame that America has that mindset. That weird disconnect, right? Yeah. Cops, yeah. I mean, the motto is protect and serve. Well, because, like, I've it's I've just... heard stories from other friends and stuff where they're like, yeah, man, we were having a bad time, so, like, like, or we were we were lost somewhere and a cop drove by and, like, we, like, flagged him down and he drove us home. And I was like, whoa, that's fucking cool. Like, that's, like, you know, but I would never, I like, I, I would, I would, I, for no reason, if a cop drove by and I was walking down the street, I'd probably jump in a bush. Like, <laughs> just, I would be doing nothing wrong. Be like, oh my god, I need help. These murderers are chasing me. And you're like, oh, please fuck. No, no, man. <laughs> it's yeah, not the first no. thing that comes to my mind. I, I've been in situations, there's been time where we should have called the cops, and I never even crossed my mind to do. Because uh, you're self sufficient, Curly. You're a man's like, man. Yeah, sure. You're a man's so, man's man. Like, always being told, like, oh, you know, shit goes down, call the cops. And I'm like, okay, cool, right. And then, like, the the other mix of having those kind of sketchy, but not, like, really, really hardcore law-breaking friends that are just like, hey, hey, if you see the cops, just let me know. And you're like, what What did you do? Like, And you're like, no, 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 don't worry about it. Just, you know, sh you know hey, sh And I'm like... And I'm white. It should be easy, right? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> I've gotten out of... See, like, I, I don't have that, like... Like, most of the times, well, like, when I was a teenager, I got in trouble with the cops, like, all the time because I thought I was a fucking badass, and I wasn't. I was just a fucking angry teenager that was stupid and thought I could get away with shit, and I couldn't. Um, but now as an adult, like, there's been so many times, like, like, if you're just nice to the cop, you'll be fine. Like, literally, you'll just be fine. Like, I literally, okay, like, got pulled over because my headlight was out. And granted, I went, what? My headlight's out? I fucking knew my headlight was out. <laughs> like, But I'm like, what? Which one? Where? And they're like, oh, yeah, your headlight, this one. They're like, where are you headed? And I'm like, oh, I just got done dropping my dad off. Like, as long as you're fucking nice and not a dick, like, they're not going to be a dick to you. Frankly, they're yeah. just, they, they don't fucking care. Like, they got more important shit to do. And when you're being an asshole and being a fuck boy, like, yeah, then they're going to be like, all right, hey. your ass is getting tased. Like, you deserve it. Like, <laughs> Like I learned that lesson at fourteen when I called the when I said the, to the police when they were arresting me when I was fourteen I was yeah. like you fucking pig I smell bacon you know what happened they threatened to tase me and then threw me down the stairs so lessons learned don't be a dick to cops if you're just cool about it they're not gonna fuck with you because frankly they don't fucking care I uh, I, I don't I, be a dick in general sure. to anybody just don't be a dick not to cops in, yeah. it, it, uh, just well yeah. Well, for, the, for them, they don't want to be there. They don't want to be dealing with your fucking stupid ass. Like, they just want to, they want everything to be okay. They want to go home to their fucking kids. Exactly. Just sit down, shut up, yeah. and deal with it. If you're going 70 miles, if you're going 70 miles an hour in a 55, like, yeah, you're going to get a ticket. Don't fucking argue. You're stupid. You didn't follow the law. So I know? actually, I actually got put in a drunk tank once. I don't think I've actually told the story. Oh, that's shocking. Yeah, no, dude, I'm, I'm such a, what? I'm such Curly? a, I'm such a good drinker. This is so, this is so long ago. It was actually I was downtown. I was 21, and uh, we were all downtown drinking. And and usually we move from bar to bar uh, depending on uh, where the cheapest drinks are. And so we were moving around, and I went outside of this bar, and uh, there was a fight happening in the middle of downtown San Diego. Just like there was some, some two bros or three bros or something were just throwing down, and they were being you know knocked into cars and shit. And it was just really a ruckus as all hell. And so. I'm standing there with a friend of mine and uh, we had just walked out of this bar and it was like, you know, it was one of those like you walk out of a bar and it was also an underground. So it was like one of those like you're adjusting to like the world around you. And I'm like looking around. I'm like, oh, oh, crap. There's this fucking fight going on. It's crazy. And I was just enough inebriated to be like, this is entertaining. <laughs> like, <laughs> and so like, like I walked over there and was like, you know, I mean, I walked into the crowd that was like standing there watching it and everything. And uh, so 
they got thrown into me and my friend, like someone got thrown into me and my friend and we got knocked over and everything. And it was no big deal. Like I was just like getting up or whatever. But then the cops that came to break it up saw us and grabbed me and my friend. And they were like, everyone's going in the car. And they, they put all of us in a car. Like, so I'm all of a sudden in a, in a cop car with these fucking uh, hooligans. And uh, <laughs> and so, I, I mean, I acted completely like whatever. I'm like, hey, man, no, I wasn't part of it. But, you know, I understand I am. They're like, are you drunk? And I'm like, yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> like, I am, in fact, very drunk. But it has nothing to do with this. You know, like. And they're like, all right. So we went and they 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 put us downtown. They did as a drunk tank, and uh, it's just a room that you're supposed to sober up in. And like, I'm sitting there like doing whatever, and I see some people coming in different levels or whatever. And so so just the, the, basically the reason that this brought this up was word of the wise of the whole like, don't be a fucking dick to people. Like, let them do their fucking job. Uh, I uh, one of the cops came in and he was like, all right, who's been here for four hours or whatever? Like, and so I was like, hi, I've been here for like four hours. And this other guy's like. When are we getting out of here? Blah blah blah. And he was just blah, just blah 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 blah. And uh, the guy was like, "Fuck it, we're not letting anyone out." Then this guy's causing trouble. And so he comes back an hour later, and he's like, "All right, who's 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 you know who's ready to go?" And he knew who was ready to go. He's just checking everyone's drunkenness. And I'm like, "Hey, I'm good to go." And this guy starts up a shit again. And uh, this guy was just in there for the same shit, same drunk tank bullshit. You know, he was going to get released in you know at the most eight hours or whatever, as long as they can hold you. And uh. They um and I didn't know what this was until some of the other guys explained it to me. Uh, they immediately took his wristband off, which was the drunk tank wristband, and slapped him with another <laughs> wristband, and then took him outside and took him to a different room. And they were like, "Oh!" And apparently, <laughs> they slapped the wristband on where you're going to real jail, <laughs> where they Ooh. take your clothes and put you in the jumper and everything. And they and I was like, "Oh, <laughs> that sucks." <laughs> so yeah, don't do that shit, kids. Yeah. Just don't yeah. be a dick. Like that's literally what it comes down to in life. Don't be a dick. Because otherwise bad shit happens. If you're just not a dick, even when people are being a dick to you, just don't be a dick. I think Abraham Lincoln said it best. Um, be excellent to each other. That was in no, uh, like, San Dimas, it's, right? It's, and <laughs> party on, dudes. <laughs> right? that, was, that was legitimately always my favorite part about going to the bar. Is like the dude who gets way too drunk and then he's outside yelling and the bouncers are like bro just <laughs> take your time calm down g- get some air in you you know like like don't don't be that guy and the one time where one of these dudes was being like he didn't even get in yet like we were all in line to get in and i guess his id was like bad or fake or something and they're like uh you know can't let you in man and he goes on he go he, he fucking pulled a soapbox out of his pocket puts it down and he's just on a fucking rant and the bouncers are like hey we got, you got to move cuz we got to let other people in i don't know why that soapbox is so big and he's just like going and the the bouncer tells him like one more time like bro you got to like off to the side you can rant all you want just go off to the side and just as that's happening like a cop comes out of the crowd and is just standing there like like I think they told you to move along, dude. Like, you should probably take that advice. And he's like, no, fuck them, fuck that, fuck this, fuck this, fuck you. And then the cop's like, well, all right. And just fucking tackles him to the ground. Well, and bam. Like, friend are like, I'm going to step over this. This is my ID. It's fucking perfectly fine. <laughs> Rules, <laughs> Bacon Donuts. Yep. San Dimas High School Football. Rules. <laughs> San Dimas High School. Did I tell you I ended up accidentally in San Dimas? When I was driving to TwitchCon, getting to San Diego. Sounds like it was no accident. <laughs> uh, I was driving, and the GPS was like, "Hey, we're gonna route you around traffic," and it took me all the way through San Diego. And I was like, "Oh shit, this is here! Like, <laughs> <laughs> this is a real place." Yeah, Let's I had no idea. Waterloo, AKA Raging Waters. Yeah, it's pretty pretty badass. Uh, so we we have we have we have uh, we have one last section of the show called the mailbag. Uh, usually the shorter section of the show because no one sends emails into the show. Or questions. It should be the human bag. The human bag? Oh, I get oh. it. <laughs> God damn it, Tumblr Gosh. Steve. <laughs> God damn it. We make a Tumblr Steve account and it's just Tumblr Steve stuff. Um, anyways. <laughs> Let's fill that knowledge hole. It's Taz's news. Wrong one. <laughs> Time for some cocktail infused communications. As if Poseidon himself extended his hand in friendship and they spat in his mouth. It is a smorgasbord of loud noises over here because <laughs> someone just followed the channel right in the middle of me doing that. <laughs> right, I thought it was like part of the same soundbite. I was playing was both like, of the soundbites because the first question that we got was from Friendzone Forever saying, when will Friendzone Forever be noticed? And, uh... Ooh. Yeah, that's where we got the music from, the the, the stingers. So thank you for that. 
much. Yeah. On uh, top of also, that, the next question is: Would you rather be able to speak a lang- any language fluently, or have the ability to talk to animals? Uh, language, Ooh. definitely language. But then you could get consent if you get the animal ones. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Bring it right back around. Oh my god! No, I I would have to say language because then I could cuss people out in every single language, and I could also say really dirty things in every single language. Is it one language or all languages? Any language. So one language. Any oh, language. Oh, one. Language. I'm assuming so. I mean, so would you rather be able to speak any language? Oh, I guess any language. Any language at all. So if I had the ability to talk every single language yeah. in known to man, Mumbuntu and sure. fucking smorgasbord and French, German, <laughs> Mandarin, Japanese. I, yeah. dude, I can Chinese. I can say that's my bitch in Russian. It's pretty awesome. Or talk to fucking animals. No, I don't fucking care what a dog has to say. you know how, say. S- how sad it would be to talk to animals? They'd be like, I want to go outside. I'm a dog. I want to go outside. I got to leave you inside because you're going to you know, run away. No, nah, and it's got, oh, you gotta leave me inside. That's sad. Then you <laughs> just, be, all just sad. be like, hey, hey, my, hey, hey bro. and like hey, you drive hey. by, you drive by a pet store and hear the shrieking of the animals inside. Let me out, Jesus Christ, help me, please. He's <laughs> pooped the corner. I can't get away. <laughs> it would be, it would be, it would be maddening. Uh, I literally, I, I just, I would want, I would want to be able to swear <laughs> and talk dirty. <laughs> You could swear at animals, though. When I say fuck you, you fucking piece of shit cat, she'll know that I'm fucking mad at her versus just looking at me like, is it time yeah, for dinner? And then, and then, because she can understand you, she would go and pee all over your bed because yeah. now she picks up on your anger. And what are you going to do about it? Kill the right. cat? Well, no, animal- well, well, <laughs> yes, I'll kill the cat. Right. I'm sorry. I, would say, I would much rather... I would- oh, my cat got in an argument. <laughs> So I think I think I think my 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 somehow I'm I'm realizing the fallacy of my my own choice here at this point. I'm assuming yeah, just, that they'll be somehow smarter than they are if I was able to communicate <laughs> with them, right? Like right. I just want to have this like I want to have like a rhino bro as like a friend I can hang out with every day. <laughs> I uh, just want to be able to understand the little Asian ladies that fucking do my nails and shit because they go on and on about a million miles a minute in some fucking language. From Asia, and I don't know what the fuck they're saying. You seem very I, invested in them. <laughs> I am, dude. I go there. Every some two some weeks. fucking type of Asian, some fucking Asian language. Oh, I, you're getting raided. It's the rage mage. Oh, What's rage up, rage? rage? I, 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 I was trying saying. to say hi, and then I realized we were in the middle of they, conversing. But they're always they're always laughing at each other, and I want to know what the fuck they're laughing at because I know they, they are probably. Beef, you're right. They're probably talking about me, and I want to fucking know what they're saying. They're probably not. <laughs> I, I, I will say I've I've very recently uh, started dating a, a person of Chinese descent, and like listening to her talk to her parents, oh. like she's just like you know, and they're going like a mile a minute, and I'm just like, what? I don't. I think I know what. <laughs> what is that? Mean? Like, are they passing Chinese secrets? I don't. <laughs> you just you start dishonor thinking all on kind of you, shit. dishonor on your family, See, dishonor I didn't, on your cow. The the Filipino girl that I dated for a long period of time, I uh, I didn't need to know the language to know that they were talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> I I heard I, I I could I could translate a lot of that. You fucking stop dating that fucking white boy. <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm for that because she just very recently told her parents that she's like dating a dude. So I'm, I'm waiting for the day where she's like, oh, no, 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 it's a black guy. And then they're like, <gasps> heart attacks. <laughs> That's Word. good. Oh, my goodness. It's so good. So, Oh, dog. We have a doge I cam. Dog. My dog. <laughs> my dog I didn't know we had dogs in this I didn't know we were allowed to have dogs in this apartment. Jeez, I dogs never like, would have agreed to this if our new dogs are going to be here. Talk to each other? Like, your dogs is like, talk to me. Converse. Let's have <laughs> a conversation. Well, so, my dog is, my dog is <laughs> sitting here going, Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Will you pet my tummy, Mom? I love you. Oddly, yeah, oddly enough, that, that question that was just submitted was submitted by your dog. <laughs> I don't know if you could... <laughs> it was. You're just so smart. You're, no, this dog is a fucking asshole. So, like, whoa, thanks for the burp in the face, dude. God, um, no, like she used to, when she was younger, she used to jump up on my counter and I used to yell at her. I'd be like, get your paws off that counter. So you know what the, that fucking dog started doing? She would stand on her hind legs, balance and counter surf like 
my dog is too smart and too stupid all at the same time. <laughs> That's adorable. Yeah. Don't that understand. dog can't consent. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Miller really? said it. Miller said uh, it. Huh? Uh, the last question is from another other mech. Uh, have any of you ever used any nude mods on a game or just a really weird game mod that you made you feel ashamed afterwards? I don't feel ashamed for using nude mods. I haven't mm -hmm. actually done it, but... I have used a nude mod on The Sims, and it's the creepiest thing ever because they don't have any junk. Like... It's just, it's just like, it's Ken doll down there. So it there. just removes the, the wiggles from in it front of it? Literally, yeah, it just removes the wiggles, and like you see the boobs on the chicks. They don't have any nipples. It's literally Barbie or Ken, and it's just awkward. And what, you're was just the, like, what was the big popular one, the, the hot coffee one? Was that GTA that did that? Yeah, it was uh, San Andreas where you could actually play this sex mini game. Where, was, the, was the nudie stuff all rendered? Was it all there? Or? Uh, the, the, I don't know. No, most of it was, but like I don't know most of the stuff in most GTA games is there anyway. Like you could see Trevor's penis in fucking GTA Five full force. Oh yeah. yeah. All right. So, yeah. Whatever. They yeah. got somebody out there fucking rendering dicks. <laughs> uh, see, my but that now question video, is no. No. Sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you don't Steve's, feel ashamed. Steve's <laughs> vanilla answer. No, I haven't. Well, and see well, now video games like they don't care. Yeah. They don't give I mean, a shit. I mean, like, there was, like the Witcher, Witcher, the Witcher. Yeah, you, you were, straight you up were... see them fucking on a fucking uniform. Yeah, you were just talking like, about the unicorn tits. fucking. Like they just straight up, like they don't give a shit. Like here's some tits, here's some ass. Like the only thing you don't actually see is the Witcher's dick. That's the only thing you don't see. You see everything. You see the you see Yennefer's vagina, but you don't see a penis. That's I, the I, only thing. I can't, I can't say this with authority, but I'm pretty confident dick is just hard to render. <laughs> Well, and I'll, I'll be honest, dicks are just not as pretty as vaginas. Good like, job, baby farts. You have to admit that. You you're have gonna to you're gonna that. alienate someone because all dicks look way different. Like, but dicks, they're not pretty. Like, I don't enjoy getting a dick pic. Like, I look at it, I'm like, oh, it's another mushroom. I get. I, or, hey, hold on, I will say that's because <laughs> one people the right lighting, and two, they use the wrong angles. All it's, the time. it's all about the angles. Yeah, no. So, so I, I I get asked for dick pics. Depending on whatever girl I'm hanging out with or whatever, and my 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 usual first answer immediately like, no, you don't want that. Trust me. Like, <laughs> it's not it's not it's not any kind of confidence issue with me, but there's just it, it, it's not good. <laughs> like you don't you know it's just gonna be jarring at the best. That's it. Like, I've, I've unfortunately sent out my fair share of. Oh, I, I've said, but again, you, it's all about lighting and it's about angles and you got you got it's not just like oh hey just I'm in the shower. It's like. Oh, you gotta fucking set up the studio, get the fucking box lights out, get the fucking close the drape. <laughs> like, I do not, I do not enjoy getting dick pics at all, ever. Nope, nope. Well, boob pics though, all day, like <laughs> all day. You can send all the dick pics to me. Uh, all right, but. I'll just, I'll just any dick pics. It'll like, I'll look at. It, oh god, it's a dick pic. Oh, I gotta forward that. Yep, I'll, I'll take gotta, them. Eat them back I gotta, and I'll I gotta like, send that to King Kaz and did someone like, spoof their oh. email address to me? Is that what just happened? Too many <laughs> Hold spoofs. on, I'm looking at this header. I just got an email from mailhost at comcast.net. Which doesn't sound like the real email address. <laughs> 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 and all it says is don't be drunk in public, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> so it's either Jesus or <laughs> the police. No, no, remember Jesus would tell you not to masturbate. Right. Right. He's no, got no, that's, one. Uh, that's fat. One fucking. Well, no, Fappy tells you not to, and then he goes and does it himself. But on behalf of Jesus, Fappy is there to try to tell you not to do it, but Fappy does it. So, catch 22. Oh, it, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. No one ever, like, I don't know. Mm. Happens all the time. Nope. Anyways, that's our show, friends. <laughs> Woo! Uh, Hope you had a motherfucking you. blast. We didn't even talk about Dungeons and Dragons. I'm next. Uh, we we didn't know you were gonna be here. We'll get some fucking D and D stories, <laughs> sir. What's the what's the new hotness? Uh, the new what's the new uh, accompanied uh, uh, amendment to the to the uh, D and D five e uh, player handbook? <laughs> we're getting... uh, there is a new book out. It's uh, the Sword Coast Adventurer's Guide oh. companion book oh. that I took a look at in the store, and it's not worth buying. <laughs> what if someone but bought I mean, it for you? Are, 
I mean, are, any, anything's great if it's free. Come on. <laughs> I mean, are any of the newer gen games all that great? It just seems to me like they keep limiting each of the worlds. Like, Vampire the Masquerade was amazing. And then they came out with Vampire Requiem. And that just fucked everything. And everyone said, fuck that bullshit. And they went back to playing Vampire the Masquerade. I feel it's a case-by-case basis. My groups always seem to have fun. Yeah. Sorry, I was in the middle of a drink. Silent, curly face. Silent, you're supposed to back. I know. Me up. I was in the middle of drinking. You bastard. <laughs> you have never come on the show again. We have such a fun time with D and D. Ain't doing what you need to. You come to Steve, the sound guy. I, I get I get asked all the time because I got a, I got a bunch of old uh, older gentlemen that played D and D back in the eighties, um, uh, and they're very curious about uh, when I say I'm going to play D and D on Fridays and whatever. And uh, they're like, oh, does your, uh, does your DM allow this or does he do that this way? And he's like, oh, does he do voices? I'm like, oh, he does voices, baby. <laughs> he does voices. It's great. No, uh, we, we have a pretty goddamn good DM. Um, it's a blast. d d is great. I actually really do enjoy d d 5th edition uh, from all the bullshit I looked at from the 4th edition uh, stuff. But yeah, whatever. So that's our show. God damn it. Let me end the fucking show. You God never- damn it, no. Did you? <laughs> Steve, do you have any place you want people to find you at? Do you sure. have anything you want to pimp? Um, just the only thing I have is Steve, it's, uh, it's Twitch TV, Steve the Sound Guy. You've streamed there once in the past, uh, 2015 year. Well, uh, now that I know, now that I know it's the webcam that's causing the crash. Oh yeah, because you were talking about the crashing while playing fucking Ark. Ark yeah. So it was the, the keyboard, keyboard, huh? Webcam, keyboard, combination. Interesting. So maybe I'll stream after this. Since you, you've been back into, you know, a good uh, nine to 12 hour shifts of Ark every day at this yep. point. <laughs> <laughs> Only on the free days. That'll be awesome. <laughs> Sweet. And tactical pin at Brianna, you beautiful, sexy beast of demoness. Uh I don't know. You just did a fucking 180 hour fucking stream. Do you want anything to you pimp besides your channel or whatever? Uh you guys can find me on twitch.tv slash tactical pinup. Um or on Twitter, which is tactical underscore pinup. Um, and I will be doing another um, charity marathon. I'm actually in the works with planning something really huge Jeez. for St. Jude. I know. I don't ever stop. Like, charity work is my life. And, like, I just want to make the world a better place because it sucks a lot of the time because people are stupid and they you suck. You raised something monstrous, right? Like, something over, like, 20K or something? I, we raised... Tw- the team raised $26,725. And we're... Ridiculous. Um, my best friend, Brie X Brie, who I also want to pimp, um, because she's like a phenomenal fucking artist and it's disgusting how amazing she is. Um, she is amazing. Um, she's kind of like my co-conspirator. She's like my other half and she's Brie. She's the other half of Brie squared. Um, and (laughs) she is, she and I are actually going to do a extra life 2.0 stream. We're probably going to try and do a 24 hour stream and, um, we are going to try and get the other part because we were trying to shoot for thirty thousand dollars for extra life. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and do twenty four hours um, or maybe a forty eight hour stream together at her place to try and raise the rest of the money. But yeah, no big things are going to be coming for more charity events. Um, our next big one again is St. Jude, which will happen in May. Um, but there's going to be some seriously cool stuff to go with that. Um, prizes and shenanigans and amazingness. So yeah. Whoop whoop! Follow this lady. Yeah, Kaz, you don't do shit. Nope. Not a fucking <laughs> no, thing. you got a new sports fucking podcast you're doing with JVZ. New sports podcast. You got a whole a whole WordPress website and everything up, don't you? Uh, what is it called? Oh, sports odds and ends. <laughs> so, sports <laughs> odds and ends. Oh. As he checks sports to remember his own shit. Yep. Uh, it's sportsoddsandends.com, uh, where we talk about all the other things uh, besides sports. So. Uh, we talked about uh, weird ass shit, so go check that out. It's our it's our newest podcast side here at DKG. <laughs> uh, but as always, uh, thank you for listening, watching, and uh, talking about and uh, sharing with your friends this show called DKG Welp. Uh, if you go to iTunes, you can leave a number of stars equaling five uh, and a review at more than two words. Uh, we would appreciate it, and we would appreciate you. So uh, thank you. Someone <laughs> read a goddamn our- review on that thing. I had to write it last time. Uh, so thanks to our guests for joining us. Uh, oh, thanks to Curly uh, for being here. As always, thanks to myself. <laughs> I kind of uh, have to be. 
get enough things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess I should. I guess I should uh, do a shout out. Please visit steampowerdraft.com. Oh yeah, that band uh, for all your robot band needs. When is uh, when is your guys' fucking game coming out? Uh, SteamWorld Heist, the game for which we wrote music. You're like the in, you're like an indie releasing band, though, right? Like is supposed to release sometime before Christmas. We don't have an official release date yet. Gotcha. Dun, but dun, dun. it should be soon, hopefully very soon, because we're sitting on a whole mountain pile of albums that we're just waiting to sell to all you beautiful people. I'm it's, excited uh, for that. It's actually a really, really good CD. If uh, if any of you have uh, been following the band from the earlier days, there's a lot of uh, nostalgia into this album that I think you'll really like. And uh, here's hoping we see you at one of our shows. Once again, steampowerdraft.com. I will just say... It looks like Steve's reading the script, but he's not. He's chopping wood and <laughs> he's, taking right, he's punching down. <laughs> he's riding on the back of a fucking T Rex right now. I'm fighting goddamn dragonflies that swarm you mercilessly. <laughs> but that no, sweet, no, sweet cementing paste is worth it. Def- definitely. Thanks to everyone who 